Hey guys, what's going on? It's Spot Girls here, your favorite fantasy fanatic, and I'm about to start my draft league that I'm participating in. The actual draft for the league is about to commence. It's got 6 minutes and 14 seconds to go. 13, 12, 10, 9, 8. What draft league is, it's a little bit different to your classic mode. In your classic mode, you get to pick your team and then you compete against other people's teams. And what can happen there is that a lot of teams become duplicates of other teams. Like if there's a really good player like Cameron Smith, a lot of people usually pick the same player. And therefore, you'll have duplicate teams versing each other. There's not a lot of difference between the two teams. And they usually score very similar scores. In draft mode, completely different. What happens is you actually get to pick the players. And once that player is picked, you are therefore not able to pick that player. So only one person can have it. That's basically what a draft league means. We have 10 people in our league. What are we looking at? You you actually draw up a pre-draft list prior that you put in. So I put Cameron Smith, Fafita, James, the Bellin. And if those players are still there, then they, they just go in your next order of who you want. But more importantly, the league order. How does it actually work? How does draft work? And would I recommend it? 110%, I would recommend it because it's a lot more fairer and it's a lot more involved. What you find is not a lot of people tend to trade throughout the season anyway, because when you go in the midst of the season, the only way to get one player is by trading with someone else. And people don't usually trade. So it's really important that if you are doing a draft league, it's important to pick um, the players who you want straight off the bat and that you're available that night. Because if you're not playing and picking live, what can happen is you can pick up one hooker and then when it's your turn again, you can pick up another hooker and the third hooker and the fourth hooker. And you're pretty much like a pimp. You've got like 10 hookers that you don't even need. But let's have a look. Where is the draft order? I'm actually scourging around about. So here's the draft order. I'm Spot the Aussie. Rick Moore, that's my name. We are number one picks. So I've already put, picked in Cameron Smith. He's going to be mine. Seth goes second. Matty Barbara. Then uh, Wollongong Dragons. Mr. Auto Draft, which is Benjamin Matt Wajow playing for the Western Force and also the Queensland Reds and Rugby Union. We've got Master Helltale Cuba, Luke Maddock, The Honchos, Brad Drury, Paralytic Eels, Hutchinson, Weeksters Warriors, who's the commissioner of this league, Craig Wire. We've also got Forgetting Benji Marshall, who's making his debut in this league. And what you'll generally find is um, teams will become stacked differently depending upon their strategy. What will happen in a snake pick is those top picks will go from 1 to 10 and then it will be reversed. So it will be t then it will be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 1, 2, 3. So technically I pick the first player and then I don't get to pick again until the 20th pick. So if I pick Cameron Smith, I might not be able to get my 21st or 22nd pick. That's depending upon who people pick and where they go. Um, is indicative of, of what we do. But what I like to do is, you know, I like to play the solo game again, just like in classic, pick the forwards, pick the second rows, pick the guys who are consistently going to score much better. You can always get a really good center like a Joseph Leilua, but unfortunately, you don't know. We might score like 21 game, then 80 the next. It's just not worth it. We're competing against each other. So what will happen is each week will be one round against one person. The next round will be against the next person. And then you'll rotate. Our league specifically, our commissions determine that Whoever scores the most amount of points in one week gets a $10 prize, $30 entry for everyone's $10 prize each week, including buy rounds. And then when you play the grand final, whoever wins the grand final gets about $60, runner-up gets about $20. And that's determined by how you go on your head-to-heads -heads each week. How long does it usually take? It takes ages. It takes ages, like so long. So you think about it, if there's 10 teams and you pick 100, if you pick 17 players for each team, that's 170 players. So if it takes a minute for each pick, because you only get a minute between each pick, it's effectively 170 minutes, which is, you know, almost three hours. But what you'll find is if when the pick comes up for Cameron Smith, I'll pick him straight away. I won't wait for my pre-draft pick to go. I'll actually pick him. And once I've picked him, I've already cancelled out all the hookers. So I don't need Jake Friend in my list. We've got people commenting in right now about the league, about the start. Uh, Matty Barber just says, I'm nearly as excited when the Eels were stripped of all their points. But, again, I highly recommend Draft League over any other league. It does take time to do, but it's actually a lot of fun to be involved in. And I thought, why not record this? I'll cut out a lot of the, the jibber-jabber in between our picks. But, um, yeah, why not have a bit of fun while we're doing our teams? What I'll have is, on one page is my my teams and on the other page I'll have the team list Tuesday that's been released that way I can quickly go back and forth if I'm you know balancing up between two players but I'm expecting this to finish at 10 o'clock starts at 8 
probably finish at 10. That's actually quite a long time. And we'll have at least two people who won't be um, live picking, and that's because one of them works night shift, and I think Benny, Matt, Wujiao for the first time ever won't be able to do it for whatever reason. Not sure. Um, so those picks will automatically be picked after the one minute, depending upon who their draft list is. You can also do it on the app. So if you pull up the app, if my desktop did crash, you can live pick on the app and change your order and make sure you get your right picks. But the other thing to consider is um, the timing slots. Because the time it takes for you to do it, because I'm first ranked, I'll get the 20th pick, but then I'll also get the 21st pick because it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So the person at 1 and 10 has to pick two players back to back to back. It's really fast. And I don't like that in particular. I'd prefer to be 4th, 5th, 6th, or 7th in the middle. You got a little bit more time. You know, you, you get a handful of good players rather than getting the best player and then picking basically average players. Because what can happen is I can pick Cameron Smith and then he can get injured in the first game. And then I don't have my pick till 20th. So whoever that is at the moment, who is it? Martin Tapao. You know, Martin Tapao is nowhere near as good as the godly Cameron Smith. But my point stands. It's such a disadvantage. It is completely random. And I'm excited. The actual draft. Here we go. It's starting. So here we go. This is the actual loading page. This is what it looks like. So Cameron Smith is my first pick. And there is Hooker front row, second row. So as you can see here, the draft of teams, it actually tells you who you're going to pick. That way you're not double slotting on people. So we'll pick how many players? So 14 on the field and then four drafts. And at the moment, whose turn is it? It's your pick next up is Seth. So it's telling me it's my pick. I've got 31 seconds to go. Now, I already know who I'm going to pick, so I'm definitely going to pick Cameron Smith, so I'm going to go click Add. I'm going to put him straight into the hooker roll. So there you go, there's my pick, and now it goes on to Seth. Unfortunately, there's no musical volume with that. It's so weird not to have sound with that, isn't it? But, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. So we're going to go through and watch what everyone else does. And, um, yeah, as you can tell, it's kind of evolved. The minute, the minute draft mode starts, you've got so much more options to pick from. It also works out pretty well. Because, look, I've got my hooker. There's no need to look for any more hookers. So I can simply, you know, get rid of all my hookers. I just got a late mail from someone saying, late mail, Cameron Smith is out for round one. That's a bit of a joke. But it's uh, straight up going now, guys. Hmm. Tell me, if you had the first pick for your team and you were number one pick would you stick with cam smith i don't think you can go any other way about it i know that i've gone cameron mckinnis in my draft league in my classic team sorry but i can't again that's more of the fact that cameron smith is one hundred and seventy thousand dollars more and i can't justify the spend difference between the two i just think cameron mckinnis is going to be able to lift all right so the first round of picks who do we have so far cameron smith fafita burgess james friend debellin mannering graham gallon the round three picks were martin to power which was ours nathan cleary tyrone peachy which i think is a completely silly pick he's playing center and he's dual, dual position between second row and center a center playing center whether he's a dual position is still a center. And I expect him to score like a center. He's going to be going backwards, if anything. That's a silly pick for this round. Alrighty, guys. We're about to round up our last two picks of the whole draft. And I'm pretty excited because it's only been... It's 9.24, as you can see on my clock. It's Wednesday, 1st of March. The first day, well, one day before, the official kickoff of the uh, Brisbane game tomorrow with the Cronulla Sharks. I'm so excited to get this season underway. What I'm looking at right now is I've got on my bench, I've got Hurrell and Scott. So I've got a second row and a center. I need a half. So James Maloney is still available. Austin got picked up by someone recently. At least I thought he had. Is he still around? Surely he's not around yet. No, he's not around. But there's been a lot of picks in between that. We're about to pick. So I want to pick up Young Tonomapia. Everyone's overlooked him. He's our diamond in the rough. Why? He's actually starting fullback for the Melbourne Storm. And unless Billy Slater comes back, which is, I don't know, I think it was a little bit unlikely, he's going to be sitting in that spot permanently. Let's have a quick squeeze at that Melbourne lineup. Because I just want to check that that's actually the situation. Young Tanner P has still been named there. So I'm definitely going to picking it, be picking him up. The half I want to pick up is Maloney, or considering Brock Lamb. Did Lamb just get picked up? Oh, Lamb just got picked up by Max. That's not a bad pickup. 
Who else is there if we look at the halves, if we look up all the positions that are available, it's a shame that all these other random names are starting to show up, 57 seconds to pick. So I'm just doing a legit quick scroll. There's Maloney, Mortimer will not be playing, I don't know why he's even there, get out of there mate. Luke Kelly, yeah, he's going to be playing like one or two rounds for Adam Reynolds besides, all he does is offload to the grass, which is a shocker. But, oh Luke Brooks is still there, still, I wouldn't want him. I think Moses is definitely going to be outshining him in the seasons to come. I'm going to be picking up uh, Maloney for my bench to fill in in case one of my halves get injured. And what was the other look I was doing? Young tournament Peter for my fullback. So I've got full coverage. The only spot I don't have coverage for is the hooker roll, which is not that big of a deal. You can always bring someone in. I'm actually really happy with my picks. And let's have a quick look at what was picked up in round 15. Um, McQueen, Moroa, Paulo, Martin, Lollahia, Austin. So I was a bit surprised by Lollahia pick because I don't think Lollahia is actually playing, is he? I think he's on the bench. Let me have a look. Lollahia? No, nope, my mistake. He's playing. He's on the wing, though. Mm. Nathan Ross, Lachlan Coote. Wow, it took ages for Coote to get picked up. Hoffman, Bowen, Bolton, Bateman, Ponga, Tapao, Lamb. He was another pick I was looking at considering with Baloney. Damian Cook has been picked up. Chase Blair also picked up. Maloney, Young Turner Mapia. What I know is, is when you play with 10 guys, there's it's the perfect number, I think. Between 10 to 12 guys is the perfect number for your draft league. Because if you've got like 5 or 6, what tends to happen is there's too, way too many guns to pick up. And you're, all your teams are stacked this way. There's a little bit of a weakness here. Like there's a weakness in my centers. There's a little bit of a weakness in my back row. Maybe not necessarily. But I don't have the guns essentially. You'd ha you know, you'd have... If we're only doing, you know, uh, six or five people. Um, but I really favor... 12 people I think was the best number last year. Because it made teams really thin. And you really had to go down to your cheaper plays down low. And look at like you Uades who were on 18.7... And other names, in fact, you know what? I might actually mention that Uade is still out there for the grabs. I don't think he's going to be better than any of the picks that I've got. But we'll just have a quick comment. And what will happen is... Um... The picks will be done, but you can go back and you can trade for anyone that's still a free agent. And... After the first round happens, whatever you are on the ladder, so if you're f first and you pick a player, you have to wait two days before you get that player because the players from second to tenth can pick him up. So it works. It's a bit of a handicap. So the guy who's coming last will get the first pick of all the free agents that become available, and that's very often because if a rookie comes in or someone becomes you know injured, someone else gets pulled in, you can eventually you know you can actually put that player in straight off the bat in for your team which sucks out the power from the team that lost that player and gives your team the power and it kind of balances it out that way which is a really cool system i still think there's a lot of good players for people to pick up let's have a quick look at the overall pool not just my queue people just messaging auto draft needs to be set to shorter lads yeah agree i actually agree just load it up and this is what my team looks like so Effectively, we make a captain whose points get doubled. We make a vice captain. If the captain doesn't play, then the vice gets, you know, double the points. Of course, I'm going to captain Cameron Smith. What I might do here is I might just put Scott in. Because I think Scott might do a better job, and that way I'm not risking it. Picking up Kafusi was a bit of a risk in considering will he actually be playing. But I just wanted to make sure I had a solid team. So we're going to substitute him straight in. So our 14 player point. This is what the difference between Classic and Draft is. Only your 14 players will actually count. So your benchies do not count. And if one of them gets injured, the lower scoring benchie will actually be added to your points. So I'm really happy with that. This is my team lineup. Cameron Smith, Josh McGuire, Felice Kafusi, I'm like who I've just tried to trade for Bo Skirt. And it doesn't want to work just yet. It's probably because it's been the first time. Ah, it's because he's... Front row, duh. So what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to play a little bit of... A little bit of um, playing around. But that's our team. Pretty solid. Cameron Smith, Joshua McGuire, David Clemmer, Martin Tapao, Bo Scott, 
Joel Thompson, yeah, a little bit iffy about him. Bo Scott, a little bit iffy. Michael Morgan, Whittaker in the halves, very solid centers, Shoney Metalis here. Kevin Naguama, fullback Josh Dugan, Moylan and Jack White, and all respective fullbacks, all solid players. Jack White has his moments where he plays absolutely brilliantly, and then he has a bit of a, a fade out. So does Matty Moylan. I mean, look at his score difference. 71 points high round, 11 points last round. Josh Dugan, same, but he's more consistent. Look at that. Last five rounds, 46.4 points. So I'm really excited to have him in my team. Let's have a quick look. Who are we versing first? We're going to be versing Wollongong Dragons. So, if we go to the fixtures, our first matchup is going to be Smith versus McGuinness. Now, I think Smith should be able to edge him out. Maguire versus James. It's going to be pretty even. In fact, I might just favor James that way. Corbin Sims, I think Clammer's got the one. Mountain to Power should beat Elijah Taylor. Bo Scott will definitely beat Elliot. Whitehead, depending upon if he pulls in Tepai Moroa. I think I've got him in the second rows, that's for sure. Michael Morgan. Sean Johnson. Depends how good Sean Johnson comes out of the woodwork. But I think Gareth Wood at Morgan beats Johnson and Taylor. Metautia and Naguama. Oh, that's going to be very even, I think. The fullbacks, though. I think Dugan, Moylan, and White and play better than Morris, Gutherson, and Rapata. So I think I might just be able to edge out Max in the first round. So that's going to be pretty good. I want to have a look at... Whose team is the best? That's an interesting way of looking at the teams, but I might just scroll through the fixtures, just to have a bit of a feel for it. Robbie Farrow for Wix's Warriors, Robbie Rocco, Jacob Lilly. Eh, I don't like that team already. That's yuck. Adam Reynolds is definitely going to have to play around with his players a little bit more. He has a solid team in his backs, though. Munster, Tedesco, Ross, Bowen, Carter, Hunt. And when Reynolds is good, he'll be good to go. I don't know. Who, so far, let's go through all the teams. Who do you think is going to have the better team? Isaac Luke, Mitch Rain, Fafita, Grant. Oh, again, Cess picked up Harris, Bura versus Oliola, Burgess, Lowe, Milford, Moses versus Cleary and Tyrone Roberts. So he's picked up two injured players for when they come good. North Luma and Psycho Seth, Master Hotel Cuba. Case of Pritchard, yeah, I think he'll be good to go. Aiden Tolman, Napa. Jack DeBellin, I actually really like Jack DeBellin. I'm a sh you know what he got picked up? Again, Brycey Cartwright, you know, here's our thought train of picking him up so we can play in the halves. That's going to be a good pickup for him. He's got Idris in there. He's going to be, you know, exciting to watch. Wagga Blake, eh. Semi Rodrigo, Latrell Mitchell, Dylan Python. And he's also got Pete's to back up for Case of Pritchard once he becomes good to go again. That's a pretty solid team. Graham, Tamo, McCullough, Gordon, Yao, Norman, Townsend, Kenny Dowell, Walker, Inglis, Holland, French. Another iffy team there. Let's have a look at forgetting Benji Marshall's team. Hodgson, Bromwich, Hargreaves, Merrin, Barnett, Mao, Thurston, Coruscant, Morris Ware, Gordon, Adokar, Boyd, Valentine Holmes, Hopewadi, Walker. Robert Slaylor. I actually think forgetting Benji Marshall might have one of the better teams in the league. We've got Jake for Benny's team. Jake Friend, Sue, Safiri, Frizzell, Finucane, Cooper. So his front row is looking a little bit iffy. Pierce and Cherry Evans should be the highest scoring halves. Laylor and Roberts, very solid in the centers. Holmes, Hopewadi, Walker. So we'll have to fill in for Holmes somehow. Probably through Heimel Hunt. Very solid back row team. Probably the best backs across the teams, but I think forgetting Benji Marshall might actually have the better team of everyone from halves upwards. So it's going to be interesting. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. I love draft. Let me know if you think I made any big mistakes, if there's anyone I overlooked. Would you have done anything differently than I did? Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. This is just a one-off video to show you how the draft mode works. So thanks for tuning in, guys. It's been a Spot the Aussie video. Be sure to subscribe and check out more fantasy content. I'll check you guys out shortly. Shh.